Yo, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is uh, Marty. I've uh, gotten a lot of requests on how to use uh, Easy Drummer with uh, my Elias DM6 drums, electronic drum set. Uh, I will throw this up for now because there's so many requests, and I'll try to make a better one in the future. But hopefully, this helps you guys. All right, so we got our drum set plugged in. Hopefully, uh, popped up and install drivers if, it, uh, if you haven't used it before. Alright, the next step is we are going to open up our uh, audio editing program of choice. You can use Pro Tools, GarageBand if you have a Mac. Uh, I found the easiest, at least for setting it up and getting something to work, is Reaper. Uh, it's, there's a free 30 day trial, it doesn't cost that much if you want the full version. I'm on the trial right now, but uh, it's really good for doing quick and simple things. Uh, we're going to open Reaper up. Alright, Reaper, so this is a blank Reaper screen, there's no project open. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Options and Preferences. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining that they get a lot of lag or late, uh, lag when they're playing, just a delay on the playback. Um, this is because most sound dri drivers have really high latency. Um, the solution for this, these are all the uh, different sound drivers, is one called a a ASIO for All. It's a free driver, you can download it on uh, on the internet if you just Google that. I'll post a link in the show notes. You want to make sure this is the one you're using. And you want the request size, request block size to be between 128 and like probably 300 at the most. Um, I've, I've been messing around for uh, recording, I've had some, a little bit of some issues lately. I think 128 it's usually the 128 probably the sweet spot for most people. It depends how fast your computer is. Uh, because this is a netbook, it runs a little slower, so that number might need to be uh, kicked up a little bit. But, uh, so we have that. And the next thing is to make sure you, that your uh, drum set shows up under your MIDI devices. Uh, we have eDrum right here, which is my Alisa's DM6 sitting right here. It's plugged in. Um, you want to make sure it's enabled and controlled. Um, this is so it'll pick up all the hits and save it, and uh, so it can trigger the Superior Drummer or Easy Drummer software. And just want to match this, have both of these checked. Um, if you don't have your eDrum there, there was something wrong uh, with Windows and saw in the driver or, Ma or OS X. Um, I could message me if you have specific issues. I can try to help you out. Um, I know I ran into a few at first uh, when I first did this, but uh, I was able to figure them out pretty easily. Um, and we don't need the output, so you can disable that. So we have our sound driver ASIO, and we have our eDrum enabled. Next step is we're going to go to insert. I can click on it. Uh, insert new virtual instrument on new track. And assuming you have Easy Drummer uh, or Superior Drummer installed, they should show up here. Now, if you don't, they don't show up there and you have them installed. Uh, there's a problem with uh, there's a problem with uh, the VSTI being found. You can fix that by going to uh, plugins down here in the options. You're gonna click on VST and you're gonna manually add a, a path. This is the default path that Easy Drummer and the Superior Drummer install in. C program files slash VST plugins. Um, and so that way every time you start the program, Reaper will also scan that folder in addition to its default one and will add your stuff in there. So now assuming you got that to show up, insert virtual instrument new track. I'm going to choose Superior Drummer because it's the, the bigger and better sequel to Easy Drummer. And hit OK here. Alright, and just hit yes. It's simple and all automating. Alright, here's our, here's our window. Um, this is Superior Drummer, and we're going to close this right here. Sorry about that, there was a, I accidentally deselected the ASIO driver and wasn't outputting, but as you can see now, this is me hitting my drum set. And it's picking it up through here, it's perfect, it's exactly what we want. And um, you can simply just uh, hit record, play, play a few things. And we're gonna hit 
hit stop, save all, and just hit play, and it'll, uh, oops. Sorry, the end of my uh, last clip got cut short because my phone ran out, ran out of space, but uh, I'm on my uh, my desktop now. I um, This is actually a file I recorded on my uh, recorded on my netbook, but uh, it's just to uh, show you guys a sample. So uh, I played along to this track. It's uh, Set Sail by The Movement, but I uh, hit record. It recorded. Uh, you can see all these little dots. It was uh, basically all the me hitting my drum set and it triggering Superior Drummer. Um, so if I uh, just play back from the beginning, you guys get a little, a little taste. So that's that's really it. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just send me a message and I'll uh, try to help you out. Uh, good luck.